I just want to do a quick update on my Focus ST. Um, a lot of you guys, I haven't done a video on it since one, I bought that over there, and two, since I got these beautiful wheels, Wega Masters in triple chrome. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I haven't really driven or made a video about it, mostly because my purge valve again is bad. I don't know at this point one it goes bad pretty much every couple weeks so it is what it is but just a quick update video on the car and some microphone testing stuff like that um, I got this right here Ooh. so um, I could kind of adjust it a little bit better so I'm gonna see how it does but yep and these are pretty much around the same spec as what I had before I think instead of plus 42, they're plus 38 or something like that. So, um, and they do have a little bit more of an aggressive lip on them. Uh, and the rears too, tucked pretty well. I'm kind of experimenting with tires before I spend a fuck ton of money on them so right now i don't even know what these tires are i got some of these don't even know what they are but they're this and then my specs on my tire i could put it up there on the description too 22540 zr18 so that's what i'm running as of right now it is a thicker tire so, if I like these, I'll probably go with some R888s, um, some Michelin Sport Pilots, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I like the fitment. It's pretty much settled. The front looks a little high, but it's not too bad. This is the other side. It's pretty dialed. Pretty dialed. But yeah, just a quick update on the car. Haven't really been driving it much. Although it's been really nice weather and I really should. Still clean. That's the front. But yeah, for anyone that has not uh, tuned in, seen any of the videos or anything like that um, on the car. This is a uh, 2017 uh, Ford Focus. I believe it's an ST2. Um, and I picked it up with 50 or 30,000 miles, something like that, uh, less than 20. But honestly, I don't think it gets much more perfect least set up than this car I believe it makes 400 wheel it made on the dyno I have to check my sheet which is nice um, it's super quick uh, it's a blast to drive um, and I know a lot of you are questioning this if you haven't seen it before this is a uh, custom sidewinder kit uh, that we did so it is it was kind of a bitch to do I won't lie um, but pretty much after we got through all the hiccups, performance wise, it has been beautiful. And I don't know if you can hear the weed whacker or the leaf blower. That guy's been leaf blowing for what seems like three days now. But, yep. So right now it's got $50,000 or 53000 on the dash. Um, and I'll just go through a quick mod list. It's got the high pressure fuel pump, uh, dual catch can, uh, Cobb short throw shifter. It's got the front mount intercooler. Um, this front mount intercooler, I've gotten a lot of questions. It's by CPE. It's pretty much the first mod that I ever did to the car. Um, and it's been nothing but reliable and great. So I recommend it. It's got the uh, full track spec MBRP exhaust on the car. Um, 
I like it. As you can hear in some of the videos, the drone isn't terrible on it. And these tips are dark, but I like it. And then I get a lot of questions about my downpipe. My downpipe right now is it's a Megan Racing Catless downpipe that I cut to because it my uh and I'll get into this a little bit later but my wastegate recirculates into my exhaust because I did not want a hood dump um so this is connected to the downpipe so I, we had to cut and weld the downpipe to one fit the exhaust and one fit this so if you get a Megan Racing downpipe it might not be the exact same spec as mine or the sound as mine so keep that in mind but um yep I got a uh, grave land gra graveyard coilovers I love those and you know the basics composer delete you know that type of stuff RS wing um, as far as suspension goes um, pretty much everything but the front and rear or the front sway bar or the rear sway bar so I have everything on my uh, rear is by massive so everything from the control arms and links bushings and even my strut tower so and then for you guys that don't know we do have the battery relocation I did a walkthrough on this. This is before I was even like posting. So kind of sucks. I try to answer the questions, but you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I hate to be that guy, but <laughs> if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. But I did do a walkthrough of kind of what I did on it. I do have the uh, precision blow off valve down there. This G25 550. Um, I get questions on what turbo you should go with. I had the, I had a 62, 66. I had a 30, 71 by B&R. And now I have the uh, G25 550. The G25 550 for back roads and just pleasure riding around town. This is the best turbo. Makes 400, no problem. It's got the T51R mod. Sounds amazing. Um, as far as the motor goes, one, uh, it does have ARP head studs and resurfaced heads because when I did my first big turbo upgrade, I had the 3071 and I flopped my lines, uh, my boost lines, and I overboosted to like 36 pounds and lifted my head. So, ARP head studs, that's pretty much it. Other than that, stock. What else are we missing? Wastegate, it's a Turbo Smart Com 40 wastegate. I think it's got a 15 pound spring in it, if I'm not mistaken, or 12. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember. I believe it's 12 is what my tuner wanted me to go to. I had 15. Um, yep. What else are we missing here? Um, pretty much it. Um, this. I get questions for my dual catch cans or like which ones I have. This one's by Diamond Motorsports and this one's off of Amazon. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's been working just fine. I've had no issues with it. Um, honestly, I need to check to see if they're full because I haven't in a good while. Um, and I do have a custom purge valve. Right now, I'm having problems where I have to like switch it out every couple thousand miles because some I think it's the heat is eating these up but this is a custom purge valve by uh, Logan if you're not in the focus chats on Facebook you should probably get one they are worth it I get this question all the time what this is um, just to vent the crankcase these cars are notorious for crankcase pressure so if you haven't already, catch cans, vent, and golden. As of right now, um, the only thing left on this car um, that I want to do is just cosmetic. 
uh, I picked up this Anderson's composite carbon fiber hood. It's beautiful. So, yep, that's good. I don't know if I want to go with carbon fiber fenders yet, but you know, we'll see. I kind of like the look that it has now, but with these wheels, possibly. Like I said, these are Rega Masters that I got. Um, so when I bought them, they got redrilled by from 5 114 to 5x108. And I got them chromed at a local shop. And my buddy does CNC work, so he was able to do that. They're all right. You can still see where they got redrilled at. So if you're up close, you'll definitely see. I don't think the camera picks it up too much. And I went with the clears. I am sticking with these because they just complement the wheels. Looks amazing. So that's pretty much for the exterior. The interior, pretty much literally nothing has been done in here. Um, so my tickets. Why don't you drive fast? Why don't you speed in your videos? <laughs> Oh, because I'm up to my fucking dick in tickets. So, the next comment who fucking does or says shit is fucking annoying. So, I gotta pay these. And I'm still fighting that other one. So, is what it is. Um, but for the interior, it's pretty much stock. I mean, I don't think anyone's even sat in the back seat. Um, my fiance just sits here. Every once in a while. Other than that, it's empty. No one even sits in the seat. It still looks brand new, cleaned up. And the rears, I think, are brand new. I think I've had somebody in them one time for 10 minutes. But, yeah, other than that, no. Um, carbon wheel. Um, and I just wanted something super subtle. No logo, black stitching, carbon, and the uh, perforated leather. That's pretty much all I wanted. I did not want something super fancy. And the only reason I got a new wheel is because... The one, the OEM one was, I still have it, is peeling. And every time you put your hand on the steering wheel, it would just cake your hand in just leather. I don't know what happened to it or what I had on my hands that started that, but yeah. And I have a polished shift knob. And I get questions where this is, it's from MPX. It's a polished shift knob. Um, it's pretty much it, just MPX. And I bounce between shift knobs like every other week. So, yeah, that's pretty much the interior. There is like literally nothing done. I do have the uh, pedal spacer. I made a video on the pedal spacer. So if you want, I'll link it and you can check that out. But that's pretty much it for the car. Um, like I said, interior is pretty basic. Um, and yes, the car does have AC. It has no heat. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing more in here. Back out of here. But I do want to keep showing off these wheels. Holy fuck. I can't believe I spent an arm and a leg on that. That's kind of what's holding up this project, is I spent all my project money on these wheels. But they are, oh my God, they are worth it beautiful spec so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions i'll put some driving clips and some sound clips of the car um after this and then um yeah you guys could check it out here with the downpipe and the exhaust sound like t51 armad i'm sure will sound very similar if it's in the stock location if not the same it's a t51 armad um and yeah, for everyone, I've gotten some comments to say, why a Sidewinder kit? Why not? That's pretty much it. You get no real added benef benefit other, other, other than turbo serviceability. <sighs> oh yeah, forgot to mention. I have this Maxton rear valence. It kind of sucked to install. Pretty shitty, quality-wise. But gets the job done, completes the look. It's a great 10-footer. 
this car. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna link some sound clips below and then uh, probably some panning shots of the car, then some sound clips. And then, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. What type of videos you wanna see with this car? I don't know what else I wanna do with it. Um, yeah, comments below. Um, and let me know what you think of the new mic. I'm testing the settings and it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to it. So bear with me on this. But yeah, that's pretty much the car. Um, appreciate you guys for tuning in on this car. I know not too many of you want to see this car, so it'll be still mainly focused stuff, but I am wrenching away on that. So, yep, I'll link some sound clips next and some up-close shots of the car.